Okay, good evening everyone. This is Joe Henches with Beyond the Chart and this is uh, Stock Market Analysis Today. Today is Wednesday, June 25th, 2014. Today we're going to look at the BRIC countries. We'll hit our, our normal uh, U.S. market real quick. You look at the Dow and uh, NASDAQ, hit the BRIC countries. And five Chinese stocks, C-Trip, Melco, uh, Chihu, Sina, and Yoku Tudu. Okay, so the Dow was up 49 points today, so we got a little bit of a pause in here. I don't think we didn't really go much lower than the low. I mean, what was it, 16,805? So a little bit lower, 16,799. So five points lower, and then we turned around. We kind of just basically got in this sideways and hung in this all day today. So the entire range from high to low was about 84 points. So not a whole lot of movement. So the jury's still out. Are we, are we here breaking this trend line? Are we about to come on down? Or are we going to go sideways? Or, you know, what's going on? Let's take a look at the indicators real quick. We still don't have the DI minus above DI plus on the directional in here. Uh, we definitely do not, do not have a strong trending indication with the ADX. Uh, the demand index is plot positive, and uh, the RSI is sitting in here at uh, 55, so it's above 50. So it's been hanging above 50. So we'll see. Um, you know, we're still trading. Well, we got. Looks like we may have closed back above the 10. 862. Yeah, yes, we did. Five points above the 10. So again, we'll have to see what kind of action we get. Uh, what was the uh, the key things that came out today? GDP. Worst quarter in five years. So everybody's blaming it on the weather, saying we really had a bad winter and all that kind of thing. As if, you know, my perspective, my reaction is, okay, we, we haven't had any bad winters before. Uh, so or in the last five years, maybe we haven't. Uh, but it was down 2.9%. So um, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see. Is that just an anomaly? Or is that uh, something that's indicating that uh, something is happening here uh, with the economy and we're not recognizing it quite yet? Uh, and then the other thing, seemed like there was something else. I know the Iraq situation seems to be deteriorating. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, I know what it was. I saw an interview, and I'll have a link to this in the post. I saw an interview with uh, Professor Schiller from Yale uh, with his uh, with his indicators, and it was very very interesting. He was adamant that we are at a peak uh, comparable to 2007 and 2000. He said the only other times that uh, the market was at this that at a higher valuation than what his valuation index comes up with was 1929, 2000, and 2007. Those are the only three times that it was higher than it is today. So I'll have a link to that article and you can look at that video. So it's uh, rather interesting. All right. <clears throat> Pardon my voice. The NASDAQ. NASDAQ kind of bounced a, a little bit higher percentage in here uh, than the Dow did. It was up 29 points to close at 43.79. And again, this is a Another one of those higher close, highest close since 2000 type of thing. So we're getting some bounce. And look, notice how this is refusing to close below the 10 exponential moving average. It's just riding. So um, not quite sure what to make of it, except, you know, like I said before, the trend is your friend until it ends. So, okay, Brazil. We're going to take a look now. I'm not going to spend a whole lot more time, but the market, you know, unless there's major, major move in the market, there's not a whole lot of change in the dynamics of the market on a day-to-day -day basis. That's why I don't mind spending a little more time every other day kind of thing. Uh, let's take a look at Brazil. Uh, Brazil has dropped back down here to last, uh, let's see, a week ago was the 18th, and that was right here. So it has sold off the entire time over the last week. Now, it could be nothing more than a little bit of an ABC correction in this move because it did punch up above this trend line, above this high in here. So it will be interesting to see. Do we continue to get follow through? Uh, is this just a little reaction? Uh, it's, it kind of looks that way to me, but we'll see. If you look at the... So it pulled back almost 50%. 
So a little bit of a re about a retracement, 50% retracement there. So, um, and boy, it's been fun watching some of these World Cup games. I and uh, kind of gotten into it to the, for the first time, and actually for the first time. So it'll be fun to watch the United States tomorrow take on Germany. All right, my sex. Boy, the Russia index uh, today uh, really did a reversal down, uh, hard down, and it closed lower than, what, about the last 10 to 11 days in here. So this could be reversing. Uh, we'll have to see whether or not that uh, has, you know, any more move to the downside uh, in here with Russia. It's, again, it's had one heck of a rally back. And India continues to rally. We had this little pullback. I think we are in a fifth wave here. Uh, what I call these the bracketed fifth ways rather than a circle uh, you know I'm using these brackets because I don't have an easy way to do a circle on here so we've got these little uh, subwave one and subwave two and I think we're in the third one getting ready to take off so it'll be interesting to watch that continue to push and China just can't seem to get off the floor and I'm starting to wonder whether or not this is going to break down out of this symmetrical triangle uh, you know, it broke this, if you look at this trend line in here, and it really hasn't, although it's several times penetrating down below this line, this was the closest, it closed right on the trend line, literally. I mean, two days in a row, it looks like. But then outside of that, here it did today, um, but it just hasn't been able to smash down through it. But the fact that it's come back down after trying to push up and it come back, come back down and here it pushed up. I thought it was going to maybe go this way and it comes right back down. You just kind of wonder, is it going to just thrust on down through this thing and come back down and at least, you know, test these lows down here. So uh, China just can't. Um, I think the, the whole market over there is still trying to digest everything that they're trying to do with their um, managed slowdown, I guess, would be the best way I'm trying to. Uh, would try to um, call it, you know, portray it. Um, all right, let's talk, start off with C-Trip. This is really interesting to me. Um, I'm not sure. I think we're in a third wave, okay? I think we're in a third of a third, actually. I think we had a second wave here, a primary wave pullback, and now we have this intermediate one, intermediate two, which was an ABC, which was a, what I call flat because the B went all the way back up to the start of A, ABC. And now, uh, and this was kind of a classic too, because when you have a flat, you get three waves for A, three waves for B, and you get five waves for C. And now we, it looks like we've had five waves up in here. I think this was a sharp pullback, a rally, and then it pulled back down to here. And then we got a wave three and a wave four and a wave five. But this pullback has only been 38%. But in normally I like to see, you know, like maybe a 50 to 68% pullback for this wave two. And I'm calling this, let me get the, let's see if I can get um, the nomenclature in here. Let's call this wave one. And right now, I got to sit back and say this looks like a wave two. Um, now, it may not pull back more than this because it's getting support. There's congestion in here, and notice how support came right into the middle of this. Okay, right where the where the pullback, plus this trend line across the top here. Okay, uh, so that may be enough. And now we come back and close right above the ten. So I'm actually really tempted. Um, I'm going to hold off. I mean, I, th I think that this could be one of those where you it, it takes off. Uh, the only problem is I've got several trade ideas right now where I'm long these Chinese stocks and I got my head, you know, I get uh, Cena. I did a reversal on us the other day and um, I'm not sure I want to be long anymore right now because I think the market's just making me a little bit nervous. So I don't know. We'll come back to that. Uh, Melco. Uh, we're long in here on Melco Crown. We went long this day with calls, and uh, and it's been it hasn't really gotten strong, you know. So this is making me a little nervous in here with this kind of action, but I'm gonna stay with it until it reverses, uh, and hopefully it'll punch on up through here. Here's where it's gonna get the first resistance, and then the next resistance. I was gonna look at this. 
if you look at these three pullbacks over here, okay, all the way over here. So if you if I put a line through there and I put a line through this one and I put a line through the bottom here. Okay, so now where am I getting a resistance zone? It's right in the middle of all this chop. Okay, so the market just chopped around right in here and right in the middle of all that chop is a potential resistance zone. So this thing's coming up. It, it, it selling came in at the high here at 35.73. But if it gets through that, it's probably going to run into some resistance up here, 36 and a half, 37. So I'd love to see it just punch right up into here and then exit, uh, at least short term. So I, I don't know. I, we'll have to see whether or not it can get enough strength. I mean, who knows if it gets some buying, really strong buying comes in, really good Macau report or something. It could blow right through that resistance. But I think that's going to become some resistance. OK, that's uh, Melco. So we're uh, and then the next one is Chihu 360. We went long up in here and we've kind of suffered through a pullback for the last three uh, days for three days. And then the last two days, we got this rally, really nice rally yesterday. Today, it closed almost on its high, did not take out yesterday's high. I would love to have seen that. But the fact that we we came back, closed near the high here, we've broken above this trend line. OK. And this almost looks to me like a, and I don't have my marker set up, so sorry about that. But if we follow this, looks like a little bit of a cup and a handle. Okay, so um, we'll see. It needs to get through this resistance right here. What's the high? 96.40, 96, uh, 96.49. So we're, let's, let's call it 96.50. You break through 96.50, I think the next test, next potential resistance is going to be right in here, around 105. So let's just draw this in over here. And I'll make that a dotted line. So I think some resistance will come in, but that would be a nice move if we could blow through here and get to 105 at least. Um, so that's uh, Chihu 360. Um, and then uh, Cena. Cena is the one that took our head off yesterday. You know, I had puts, got puts down in here. I um, can't remember where it was. I think it was right in here, right around 45. I can't remember the exact number. But then this thing reversed. And um, I had a stop on a close above this point, and it just kept going, you know. And uh, you know, I would do the same thing again because I have had too many times where I said, well, my stop's going to be, you know, five cents above this high. And then it goes up, interday, swings and hits it, and then reverses, comes right back down. And so, you know, my perspective is you need to prove to me that you truly want to go that way. And sometimes you get this big bar and it hurts you, and sometimes you don't. That's just the way it goes. So, you know, I, I would do the same thing all over again. You know, and that's that's just, uh, you know, I've got some vivid, vivid memories of getting stopped out uh, to the penny or by just a few cents and uh, for some some money that actually, you know, really hurt me at a time when I really needed it. And, um, you know, you just remember those things. <laughs> so it's, it's just uh, one of those things that if you set your strategy up and you say, OK, the stop's going to be above the close here close above this high then you just you you stay with it and um, that's the way that the ball bounced on that one okay so now but so the temptation was to reverse you know and, and go long but I didn't I still just don't like that you know the 21's kind of flat in here 21's not rising uh, it may be starting to make a move in here but could also pull back got this little doji. I just didn't trust it enough, and uh, so I thought, okay, we'll just wait and see what happens, see if anything else plays out. Now, Yoku, uh, again, now we got this nice move coming up in here. Um, I would like to see, this is doing a little bit like um, Melco, okay? This is kind of stalling out a little bit in here. We went long right in here, so I'd like to see a breakout of this congestion, and maybe we'll get it tomorrow. Let me see if we... Uh, Look at the, the, yeah, the DI plus is just crossing above DI minus. Uh, demand index is positive. 
the RSI is positive. It's at uh, 64. Uh, so now we do have some resistance that's going to possibly come in right in here around uh, 24 and three quarters. Uh, if it makes it through that, I think we're going to pop up to 27. So that's what I'm kind of looking for on here. Probably an initial target, maybe sell half the position right around in here, around 23 and a half, and then see if we can't ride the rest. So um, I have to look to see what we've got on the trade ideas webpage. So, all right, that's the five uh, Chinese stocks for today. Uh, and we talked about the various, looked at the, the, the BRIC countries. We'll be back tomorrow uh, with another uh, four or five stocks we'll look at uh, with the market review uh, tomorrow night. So uh, this has been Joe for Beyond the Chart. Uh, subscribe, share the, uh, share the post, share the video um, on, on your social media. And if you're not a subscriber, subscribe. It's very easy to do. Just fill out your first name and email and you're good to go and uh, be part of the tribe. All right. Thanks for stopping by, everyone. Have a great Thursday.